What's up YouTube, Maggie Tutorials here, and if you're looking at the title right now, it says how to customize your mouse, and you're like, that's way too simple, not advanced like what you're doing normally. And yes, I know that that is not very advanced, but I've decided that every other week I'll be doing a more new uh, beginner's guide, I guess you could say. So, this week is going to be the start of it, beginner's week. And then next week will be more advanced of what I've been doing. The week after that will be more beginner's guide. So that's how it's going to be. It's going to be flip flop. But don't worry, I'm not going to start doing this all the time. And you'll eventually get used to the schedule. So to customize your mouse in Windows XP, Vista, and 7, go to the start menu. Then click the control panel. Then click the arrow up here and click all control panel items. This will be different on Windows XP, but you can probably figure it out. Then double click mouse. Basically what you can do right here is if you have a laptop, then you can change it to right handed or left handed settings. So it just switches the primary buttons. And then uh, if you have an external mouse for that laptop, then it will be called other pointing devices. And if you just have a desktop, then it'll just be called mouse or something like that. And you can switch it there too. The double click speed is, that's what it is, the double click speed. If you have problems clicking that fast to double click, um, then you can move this bar down to slow. Or if you click too fast, then you can move it up to fast. Click lock enables you to drag without holding down the mouse button. Uh, so you just click on it and then move it, move it like on your desktop, and then click on it again and it'll drop it, so that's called click lock. Um, pointers is your mouse cursor, you can change it in here, and I like uh, this customized cursor that I got off the internet, and I'll probably be making a video soon of how to get custom cursors. Then the pointer options is you can select stuff like pointer speed, slow or fast. I can't figure out what this is, maybe you can. Uh, snap to automatically move the pointer to the default button in a dialog box. This is a dialog box. And if I click, check this, and click OK, and then open this up again, then the mouse pointer would automatically snap to the OK button. The display pointer tails does not seem to work on my computer, but it works on Windows XP, and I know it works on Windows Vista. The hide the pointer while typing is a default setting when you get your computer, and it hides the pointer while typing. And slow show the location of the pointer when I when you press the control key. There. I just press the control key and it does that. The wheel is, you know, the wheel on your mouse. If you're just using your touchpad for your computer, or if your mouse does not have a wheel, then that's going to be, uh, it won't have this tab. But if you have a wheel on your mouse, then basically when you click, um, the default is it'll scroll three lines at a time. You can change it to one page at a time. And then tilt the wheel. Some mouse mice, you can tilt the wheel left and right. But I don't have that kind of mouse, so I can't sh demonstrate. Hardware is, you can basically look at all the mice you have, um, and it'll tell you if this device is working properly, and what the location is, like I have a USB input device. This is plugged into a PS2 mouse board, it's the touchpad, and then this other thing, which I don't know where it is right now, and they are all working properly. The device settings is for my touchpad, uh, it might be for if you got a mouse with your computer, your desktop, it might have stuff like that, but I'm not sure besides touchpad. So that is how to customize your mouse in Windows XP Vista 7. Thank you for watching. If you want more tutorials, subscribe.